with the Detroit Pistons and the Charlotte Hornets. The Hornets won their opener, and they're favored here in this one right now by four points. And the total in this one is currently at 225 and a half. Final. Final. All right. Uh, in this one, you have Detroit coming off of a loss against uh, Miami in the opener, but they got the money. We told you we liked Detroit in that one, getting those, that big bush, bushel uh, of points. You know, Detroit's continued to kind of uh, move forward with this program. They got young team, young lineup. They look pretty, pretty okay. The Hornets, uh, they got the money. They got the money in the win against Atlanta. And look, it just looked like it was just moving a little bit too high for a team like Atlanta on the road. Uh, uh, you know, the Hornets were a home dog in that one. Now you're asking them to lay some points here um, against the Pistons. Uh, doesn't feel that comfortable. Here's Blake on the Pistons already. But Dave is ready to lay the money, lay the points at home with the Hornets. So a couple plays from you folks already in this one. But uh, I don't know if I want to lay any points with the Hornets at this point. I maybe more interested. Look, they needed a they needed it as a home dog. Now, granted, they won that game against Atlanta, but you know, after missing both both teams, of course, missed the postseason uh, last year. Jason says, look out for the Nuggets, and let's talk about it here in just a moment because uh, sounds like some action going on with the line. So for Detroit uh, in this series, uh, the under has come in in 13 of the last 19 meetings. Charlotte has covered the spread in 14 of the last 20 meetings between these two teams, here comes Ferner. Likes the Hornets uh, take it way down here to uh, minus one and a half. Here's Luis today. Hi, Luis. He'll take the Pistons in this one. I, I kind of want to take the Pistons uh, in this one just because uh, who wants the Hornets belying any other than Dave and Ferner? Just not quite well, and right, it could be a question mark of a game just thinking about it, right, because of the fact that we have two, you know, yeah, I am too, Ferner. I'm thinking about updating the line a little bit, maybe to three and a half, but, uh, and maybe I should, because I feel like I'm going to end up recommending the Pistons here in this one. Uh, taking uh, the Pistons here plus the points. And uh, I think that's what I'll do as well. I'm not, it feels pretty nondescript, but I just don't want to lay anything right now with Charlotte. I don't think they're going to be a very good team, quite frankly. And uh, I feel like the Pistons may be a little bit better. Let's see where I'm ranking those guys. Show you my bald head there a little bit. And uh, Ferner just waits. He's not interested. I'm interested. I want to bet NBA early. We are, Ferner and I, not on the same page on that one. Darren took it last night. All right. Just give me the Pistons here in this one. I've got this one as a, uh, you know, Pretty nondescript game here. Pretty uh, ugly game, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I like the other. I like my mom makes a line move. That sounds like a like a t-shirt. My mom makes the line move. All right. And uh, Nathan here, maybe on the Pistons. I'll take him as well. Twisted Pistons on your uniform? 